Hey, so in Monday's video, I teased a new podcast series that I'm working on, and today's the day I am officially releasing the first episode of a new interview series that I'm calling Conversations with Joe. By the way, I saw in some of the comments that some of you didn't really like that name, and I, uh, I'm sorry? I don't know. That's what I came up with. That's what I landed on. It could change. All this could change. But as I'm sure you can already tell by looking at the title of this video, I'm kicking the whole thing off with an interview that I did with an old friend of the channel, the one and only Andy Weir. Andy is, of course, the author of The Martian, Artemis, and his new book that came out this year, Project Hail Mary. So yeah, in our conversation, we go super deep into the science behind uh, the book Project Hail Mary, some of the ideas of where he came up with them and whatnot. And I'll warn you right now, it gets super spoilery. But I wanted to share a clip here uh, during a segment where we were talking about how alien technology might progress differently than human technology has progressed. And by doing so, he kind of made an analogy to a little nugget of information about human history that I had never really heard of before. I should say that um, I haven't actually fact checked this. I'm just taking Andy at his word. So if you have a problem with what he says, then take it up with him. Sorry, Andy. But this is an audio-only podcast. Um, I'm going to be releasing little video clips like this to promote each one of them. But um, yeah, I'm trying to do something that's off of YouTube, trying to kind of grow from there. So all the people who are going to inevitably start asking if I'm going to be releasing these onto YouTube, no. Although I may be sharing them on video to Patreon and members. Just saying. But if you want to listen to the full interview, there's a link down in the description to go check that out, or you can just do a search in any whatever your favorite podcast player is. I invite you to subscribe. I plan on putting these out about one every two weeks. But anyway, thanks for checking it out. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, either way, here's a little clip from my interview with Andy Weir. You know, a fun, fun side note, like just the random ass way technology works. Um, so you go back to the ancient world, you go back to like, hey, I, I, you know, kind of Roman Empire, maybe after Roman Empire, but like, you know, a few hundreds AD or CE, if you prefer. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and you look at what's kind of going on technologically and you'll see two things. In the East, in you know China, they have incredibly detailed ability to do porcelain work. Like, that fine China, as it's called, mm -hmm. like just like far and away better than anything anyone in the West can do, right? They just kick so much ass at porcelain that they can do whatever you want. They can make porcelain really, like literally they could make porcelain containers that have regions of them that are like a few microns thick. They're that good at it, mm -hmm. right? And meanwhile, in the West, they were shit at that, but they did a bunch of interesting stuff with glass. And the reason is because in, in the East, okay, porcelain is what they use to contain things and stuff like that. And they got really good at it. In the West, they were into wine, the ancient Romans, they needed to make wine. Mm -hmm. And then later on, they'd make wine. They had to be able to see the wine as it was fermenting in the bottles. They needed to be able to look into the bottles. So they said like, we can't just put these in ceramic bottles. Um, let's use glass. And the, and the Asians knew about glass. They're like, yeah, you heat up sand, you get this clear material, but who gives a shit? Porcelain's yeah. so much better, right? Yeah. But the, uh, the, the Romans or the later Roman, the descendants of the Romans are like, I need to be able to see what's going on inside the wine bottle. So let's work out how to do all this stuff, but with glass. Okay, so now we have glass. And then people are like, hey, have you noticed that glass kind of does funny stuff to light? And that's when they, start, that's when they invented glasses, mm -hmm. like spectacles. Mm -hmm. And that caused Westerners to have their most intelligent people more functional in society for a decade or two longer than the East did. Because once you lose your ability to yeah. read and write, because your eyes get too crappy, if you're not wealthy enough to af afford like, you know, someone to do it for you, mm -hmm. you just kind of stop being that useful to society. So just the fact that like, randomly, the West went toward glass while the East went toward porcelain ended up with a bunch of huge scientific advancements for the West because it gave a, you know, a plus five to all the wise, <laughs> the wise people in the West. Yeah. So that's, that's interesting. I never heard that before. That's super interesting. Yeah. But, but that's a good point that even here amongst our different civilizations on earth, technology progressed in, in different directions. 
Right. And, and like, if you're going to have an alien species, that's a completely different atmosphere and different physiology and they evolved physically in a different way. Of course, their technology would evolve in a different way. than. than.